So I've just plugged it in. <clears throat> now I set up, I'm going to set it up for running a servo motor. I'll find the servo motor here. Yeah, here we go. So this will just take a minute. And we'll see if we, I'll show you how relatively simple this is. So here's the servo motor. So I've got the servo motor hooked up. Now let's see if this works. Okay, so I first I have to connect to the Arduino. And it says an Arduino uh, board has been connected. Happy prototyping. Okay, so I'll set the servo to 12 uh, clockwise. So I'm going to set it to angle. Um, and let's see what happens here. I, so I just, all right, let's show you this. I'll put the okay. servo where it can be seen. Yep. Um, all right, I'll set the angle to zero. Did you see it move? Let's try it again. I'll set it to 180. Yeah, I set it to 180 and I click on it. There you go. So it's, um, it allows you to connect to basically all the devices. You can set digital pins to a value and it gives you also all the same capabilities that exist with Snap. Uh, in order for this spark, this Snap to work, Yes. With the snap for Arduino. I'm now going to open up the Arduino uh, folder that I've got here. Yep. Which is called Sketch. Yep. Okay. Uh, and you see it says standard Fermata. Yes. So that's the loader. So yes. you have to run you have to be running this program in the Arduino in order for this to operate. If you want to run in a standalone mode, they do have a capability. I'll show you how that works. Um, you see, I, uh, I'm going to go down to the bottom. You see it says new Arduino translatable project. Yes. It says replace the current project with a new one. I'm going to hit yes. Now notice what just happened. The, all of the snap functions have gone away. Yes. And it's, it's down to a minimum set of uh, functions. Yes. So if I want to run it and uh, develop code in a standalone mode, that is, you know, this is the kind of thing if you were going to put the Arduino on, let's say, a little mobile uh, vehicle and not have it tethered to a computer, you'd need to run it this way. So you can still connect up to the Arduino. You can still develop your code. Um, you can, uh, it leaves uh, executable code in the Arduino and then you can disconnect it and reconnect it. In the other form, the one that's not this uh, 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 standalone version, you of course can control the sprite from the Arduino. Yes. So for example, I could have a sensor, you know, a potentiometer, I could have the sprite move uh, where I set the potentiometer, that sort of thing. And it, it's all open source and it works pretty well. I, it didn't so, take me long to get it going. 